Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We have another great book to show you today and it's also a giveaway. So one lucky person watching this video or reading the blog post will be the winner of a book just like that's like this and it's a hardcover picture book by Ryan North. How to be a T-Rex and it's illustrated by Mike Lowry. This went on sale August 21st. It's recommended for ages 4 to 8 and the retail price on it is $17.99. This is a bright, bold, and quirky story about finding and taming the beast within. According to Sal, being an ordinary human girl is kind of a drag, so that's why Sal isn't going to grow up to be a teacher or doctor. She's going to be an awesome T-Rex. It turns out becoming a T-Rex isn't hard at all. But it is hard to make friends when you're a super giant, super loud, super stompy dinosaur. If only there was a way for Sal to be as 100% awesome as a T-Rex 100% of the time. Written by Ryan North, a New York Times bestselling author and cartoonist known for his online strip Dinosaur Comics, his critically acclaimed work on Marvel's Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, as well as his Eisner award-winning writing for Adventure Time comic. He lives in Toronto with his wife, Jen, and their dog, Noam Chomsky. Mike Lowry is an author, artist, and avid collector of weird bits of knowledge. He's illustrated dozens of books for kids, including The Gingerbread Man is Loose in the school series, and Mike lives with his wife and two kids in Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. So let's take a look at the book. How to be... A T-Rex, and this is Sal. Hi, my name is Sal. One day in class, my teacher asked us, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, because obviously... Here are some amazing facts about T-Rexes. Nose, too far away to cram your fingers in there. Teeth, awesome. Body, giant. Roar, all the time. Roar. And here are some facts, sad but true, about Sal's. Teeth okay, but they could be pointier. Nose, close enough that you can put your fingers inside, but you'd get in trouble if you do, so who cares? Roars, never. Body, tiny, often ignored. So Sal's not feeling too good about herself. So yeah, the choice is pretty clear. T-Rex all the way. But at dinner that night, my brother said it's impossible for you to be a T-Rex. He thinks he's so smart just because he's older, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never even tried to be a T-Rex. Nobody has. So it looks like I'm going to be the first. And that night, I put my mind to it. I concentrated as hard as I could, so hard that my eyes squint shut and my cheeks puffed out. And guess what? I became a T-Rex. And guess what else? Surprise! Being a T-Rex is amazing. No door can hold you. You can eat whatever you want. And if you don't like someone, you can chase him away with just a roar. Just a roar if he's lucky. And since we're all friends around here, I'll let you in on a little secret called How to Be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's easy. Step one, be super fierce. Don't be afraid of anything, spider. Step three, do whatever you want all the time, library, because T-Rexes don't care what anyone thinks. Shh, roar. And surprise, you've done it. That's it. You're a T-Rex. Congratulations. You are now amazing. But there's a catch. It turns out the Earth is full of humans, and even T-Rexes have to hang out with them, like, all the time. Hey, here are some draggy facts about humans. They think the rules are so important. Ha ha. They don't like it when you eat their food. Munch, munch. Entire pizza. They get mad when you aren't nice to them. Hee <laughs> hee. But who ever heard of a T-Rex that cares about people's feelings? Not me. Anyway, yeah, that's how come I got sent to my room. Humph. Turns out there are other downsides to being a dinosaur too. It's hard to express nice feelings when all you can do is roar. Your dog doesn't like you as much. Dinosaurs don't wear shoes, fun some of the time, obviously, but I have, do have some rad sneakers I kind of miss, my cool shoes. Who would have thought being a T-Rex would have as many downsides as being a human? That's pretty much the worst. Arrgh. Is it too much to ask to be 100% awesome 100% of the time? 
No, actually it's not. Being 100% awesome is an entirely reasonable thing to want, and I figured out how to do it. I became an ultimate dino-human hybrid, and I've got a secret T-Rex inside me. I don't let people ignore me or push me around, but I'm careful not to stomp on any humans, roar, 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 or their precious human feelings. I even let my friends in on how to become a dinosaur too, since they forgave me for being such a Toronto jerkus Rex before. And yeah, my brother still says he's smarter than me, and when we're alone, he still makes fun. Ooh, ha ha. He laughs at me with a voice that has never roared, and points at me with fingers that have never known claws, and sticks his fingers up his nose at me, which it turns out does make you look pretty silly after all. Blah. But I don't mind, because he's just jealous. He has to be him all the time. Yawn. But me and my friends get to be dinosaurs whenever we want. Goal! Later. Sal? Great game, sis. Plus, whatever, he apologized afterward. So that's the book there, guys. You can check it out on the blog post. There'll be a widget to enter. And one of you lucky viewers and blog readers will be able to win this. Now, as an entry, liking the video, subscribing to our channel, commenting on the video will all be entries, so you might as well get them out of the way now, sharing the video. So you can take as many entries and increase your chances. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.